Lena, when we first spoke, you had just started promoting the fight. Yeah. And now it's almost go time. How was the entire process of being a UFC headliner? How do how is all the attention and the promotion and the media? It has been intense, but really fun. I've enjoyed it. <laughs> it was probably an unprecedented experience for you, right? Because yeah. Muay Thai, you don't get that much media apparently. No, so. no. So yeah, it's a big thing and it's amazing, you know, to get to be a part of it. Yeah. And the fight week itself, how has it been for you so far? A couple of days in. You know, fight week is always fight week. You know, it's even more intense and so much to do. And you know, but I, but I'm quite calm. You know, and I I feel good. You look calm, and you mentioned that your weight is fine. You only yeah. have a little bit more to lose, right? Yeah, it's perfect. But then your opponent. Yeah. It's been the talk that. You know, from the start, everybody just talks about Cyborg's weight, but during the week, it got a little bit more intense. Yeah. And for you, just following it, do you see it as something you, that's good for you, that works for you, that might just throw her off? How do you stand and watch this? Uh, you know, I don't really follow it. That's the thing, you know, I don't really care. You know, it's, it's her responsibility to, to make weight, so. You don't even, it doesn't factor into your strategy, for instance. No, not really, you know, I have known from the start, you know, that it's quite difficult for her, that she's, maybe she's going to be tired in the later rounds, you know, so it doesn't affect me that much. And I don't follow her, I don't follow all the, all the media, you know, I'm trying to do my thing. You talked about later rounds, which yeah. is already something that Cyborg is not used to getting. Yeah. So does that tell me a little bit about the strategy coming into this? Yes, of course, you know, and, and I enjoy fighting, so I, I want five rounds. You want five rounds yeah. inside work? Yeah, yeah, I do. And that sort of... So a lot of people just think, well, striker versus striker. You did mention that you're going to be smarter than that, right? Yeah, I'm going to be smarter than her. Maybe it's going to be stand-up, maybe it's going to be wrestling or ground game. It doesn't matter for me. You're just going to go in there and yeah. see how it... Yeah. And obviously it's a very daunting task because when you speak female dominant fighter. Yeah. It used to be Ronda and Cyborg, Ronda lost, it's Cyborg. How does that play a part in your head if it plays a part at all? You know, it's still, Cyborg is a really big name, you know, but she's still human, you know, and, and she have lost, you know, in the past. And mm -hmm. you also have to look, look at the opponents she fought recently, you know. They're not, not that good, you know, so yeah, she's beatable, and of course it's, it's, it, it affects me, you know, because it's a big fight and she's a tough opponent for sure, but not that much actually. Do you think that the fact that you're not, some opponents beat others before they enter the cage? Yeah. You're not intimidated. Do you think no. that's also one of your assets? Yeah, definitely. Something that you, and also something we talked about, yeah. you like blood. <laughs> You like violence. <laughs> <laughs> not always, not at home, you know, but um, I actually don't like blood at all, you know, when, when I'm at home, if I'm cutting myself or something. Seriously? I really don't <laughs> like it, but in the octagon, it's quite nice, yeah. <laughs> does that also, you think, sometimes, does it also help you fight an opponent that's that aggressive, that you're not afraid of a battle? Yes, of course, of course. So you were mentioning five rounds, so clearly yeah. if it gets violent, you're totally up for it, totally Yeah, violent. I am, definitely. And after that, so you mentioned that you don't think Cyborg has faced that many big names. No. And uh, moving forward, you're probably going to stay at Bentonweight, right? In the yeah, yeah. Do you have, how do you see the Bentonweight division, the landscape? Uh, do you think, are there any names that stand out to you or? Yeah, of course, I have to say, you know, like uh, Amanda Nunes. Uh, I've been watching her for a while and I was not surprised when she, when she won that title. She's amazing, you know, in, in so many ways. She's a, her striking is phenomenal, you know. It's, and also you have, you have Misha and you have Rhonda and you have all of them and they're quite different, you know. Uh, you also have Valentina Shevchenko uh, and I have fought her before, you know, in the World Championship Finals one time. So it's quite many of them, you know, that I would like to fight. and. Yeah, it's, it's so fun, you know, to be a part of, of a big organization with so many really good names. So, uh, say, obviously you're thinking of a win. Say that yeah. happens on Saturday. You get in sort of like a privileged position, right? Because you're coming yeah. in against the big name and sort of... 
how do you do you intend you just mentioned amanda you just mentioned yeah. misha the big names do you intend to already maybe call them out do you expect to get the big fights right away in case you win uh i'm not sure it's gonna happen if, if i win you know uh of course they're gonna have a big fight you know they they don't want to to put me against somebody quite new if i win this one uh but i will not call anyone out you know because i do respect many of them so much they're so great you know so I would love any of them. Another thing that we talked about, uh, when you were offered a fight, you mentioned yeah. you did not hesitate. No. You said yes. Yeah, of course. Was it offered at 140 already for you? Yeah, 140. If it was offered at 145, would you have taken it? Yeah. Probably. Why do you think that they're not doing 145? Like? Um, because 135 is the, is the weight class in, in yeah. the UFC. Uh, and they want her in 135 as well. She can't do that, so, so yeah. They did a catch weight in 140, so I think that's why. Okay, and for the people who don't know you, because you're just coming in, yeah. what can we expect from Lena Lindsberg, the elbow princess? <laughs> Elbows, for sure. Um, and also, I do have a lot of experience, so I'm gonna fight smart, and I'm gonna make her frustrated.